Hey Queen, let's talk about how to find a PR person who can actually help you so you don't get scammed. A couple of days ago, some white lady commented on my Facebook ad and said that I should really do my hair and invest in contact lenses because image is everything. <laughs> image is not everything. Please scroll back, take a look at the video that I made about it. Image is not everything. That's a message that a lot of people need to hear, especially because if you are hyper-focused on image, you can miss a lot of red flags. <laughs> and actually, two messages that I got highlight that really well. So in this one, she says, that's why some people get scammed. They're more caught up in what things look like rather than paying attention to the important stuff. And the next one, she says, I'll read this to you. I listened to another coach last week in reference to this. She was listening to this coach and she stated the person was very well dressed and hair laid, but the presentation was not there and there was no message delivered. Zero. <laughs> ah. She stated that she didn't learn anything from her and it was a total waste of time. So what do you look for to avoid having your time wasted? Let's get into it. Number one, does this person have a presence? Are they highly visible? Are they practicing what they preach? If they're saying they can get you visibility, are they, are they easy to discover? <laughs> Number two, are they actually a legitimate business? So all this takes is a Google search. If you do a Google search, you should very easily be able to check to see if they're registered with the state. This is um, my certificate of good standing. And it actually tells you, I'm not sure if the actual certificate you can see online, but if you go to the, um, the state of Arizona's office of the corporate commission, then you'll see that it actually will tell you when I was incorporated as an LLC. And it'll tell you that I'm, I'm in good standing with the state of Arizona. So you can actually check to make sure that they have government papers and the other thing about actually working with a legitimate business is that becomes a legitimate business expense for you so it becomes tax deductible um, whether it's a, a professional services or a marketing expense whatever that is but it becomes tax deductible and it's money that you're investing in your business as opposed to just an expense that you might have to eat because it's just a random person that you're working with off of fiber or something Okay, number three, do they have current experience? Are they doing what they're telling you they can do right now? Are they on top of current trends, current industry insights? Because if they're trying to sell you something that they did five, 10 years ago, and they're not doing it anymore, you can't guarantee that you're gonna get results. You don't even know if like, they'll be able to keep up with the latest technology, to be honest. Number four, relevant experience. Do they have experience working with people like you, working with women like you in your niche, in your industry, with your problems, with your concerns, with your obstacles? Number five, do they actually have real life results? Can they show you client testimonials? Can they show you examples of real people like you who they've actually helped. And another thing to look out for as well in this industry is when you're looking at client testimonials, check to see if they have any testimonials that are third party verified. So sometimes I get testimonials and I only see them after they've been through a system of a whole bunch of other people <laughs> who are independently verifying that these are actually my clients. They have worked with me and those are the results that they got. So that's something to look out for as well. And then number six, endorsements. What other trusted and reputable companies have verified that they are good and safe to work with? What awards have they won? What, what, uh, what memberships and associations are they a part of? Like, um, this is my Della. This is amazing. It's a trophy with an Afro. 
uh, I got this because I won business of the year by buy from black woman. And um, I actually have, <laughs> I've got like all my awards and things up on my walls. Oops, not that way. Yeah. So who else says that they're excellent? Oh, safe at a minimum. Who says they're safe? But I mean, excellent. <laughs> excellent is a good one to go for, right? Number seven, what qualifications do they have? So it's possible they don't actually have paper. I've got two degrees, by the way, including a master's. It's possible that they don't actually have paper. And if they don't, then just check to make sure they actually have the relevant business experience. Um, uh, and even if they don't have a degree, maybe they have certifications, right? I've got certifications as well, several, including a Google Analytics, advanced Google Analytics certification. Um, so just check to make sure that they're actually qualified. And then last but not least, what are their values and what's their mission? So I can tell you for me in terms of values, all of my coaches, all of my service providers are black. My tax lady, she's phenomenal, she's black. My lawyer, she's phenomenal, she's black. My coaches are black because for me, aside from actually serving black women, investing in the black community and investing in black business is something that's important to me. Black economics is one of the main reasons that I'm even doing this. And for me, it's important because I know that in this country, money is the thing that allows you to make good and safe decisions. Money is the thing that allows you to buy healthy food. Money is the thing that allows you to educate yourself, to invest in yourself, to build up your community, to advocate for, to advocate for people who are able to advocate for themselves. So it's important for me to spend my money with black businesses. And one of my missions is to serve black women in particular because black women are the center of the community. And black women are building the communities, black women are sustaining and nurturing the communities. So serving black women means that I get to invest in my community in a really big and deep way. I basically get to amplify my impact by helping them amplify their impact. That's why I'm doing this. So that's why I specifically teach black women how to get publicity, how to get their brands in front of more people so that they have a bigger impact. And if this is something you want to learn, if you want to learn how to get publicity for your business, without breaking the bank, <laughs> grab my free case study video. All you have to do is enter your best email address and you'll get instant access. 